What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, creating a cartoon illustration of Smurf Cat. For today's lesson, we'll need some paper and something to draw with. I'll be drawing with this 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick. Now, if you want more details on our art supplies, I'll leave a list with links in the description below. Now, the first thing we want to do is block out the basic shape and proportions of our character. Let's start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So we'll start at the very top in the middle. It's going to lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Let's go back up to the top and draw another line going across from left to right. Now we're going to be using these two lines to help us create a circle for the head along the top. Let's start from the center. We're just going to move all the way up towards the top right about here. Just want to mark off the top of our circle. Now you want to measure that same distance from the center down towards the bottom. And then we'll repeat that across this horizontal line. Measuring that same distance over towards the left and then over towards the right. Now I want to connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left and we're just using this as a guide so the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We can go back and just smooth this out as best we can. Now with our circle and guidelines in place, we start blocking out the main features of our character. Let's start by connecting the outside of our circle with a curve, going up in the middle and then back down. And this is the edge of the hat along the inside. Let's create a gap in between the eyes. So from that center line, let's move over towards the left, draw a straight line coming down. Take that same distance from the center over towards the right. Now in this area on the left, we're going to draw a circle for the eye. So we're going all the way around toward that inside line. And we'll line this up on the right, coming down towards the same height. Let's pull up the bottom of the eye, starting on the left. It's coming up a little bit higher along the bottom and up on the inside. Let's go back up to these two points. We're going to curve the nose, coming in and then out towards the bottom. Connect the outside with a curve, going up and then down. Now we're going to bring this down and in towards the center of the nose. And then from the outside corner of the nose, let's curve the muzzle, going around and pull that in towards the bottom of our circle. Let's add a curve for the chin, just underneath the muzzle. Now we're going to move up to the side and just bump out the cheeks, starting on the left, coming down. Round up the cheek and then pull that in. We're going in between the chin and the muzzle. Now you want to wrap the edge of the hat around the head. So from the left side, we're going to step down, curve this out. And it's going to round up the end, come up and in towards the middle, go out towards the right, and then bend that back in towards the side. And then we're going to go up to the top of the head. Let's add a circle going around and then down. From the outside of the hat brim, let's curve this up and then in towards the top of our circle on both sides. And then from the top circle along the side, we're just gonna blend this down and then out. Now with the head in place, let's move down and draw the top of the shoulders. Just underneath the lip, we're going to step down, draw a straight line going across. Let's go out to the side, we're going to bend the body, going out and then down towards the hips. Close out the bottom with a curve. Let's add a half circle on the bottom, so we're going to connect the hips, coming down the middle and then back up. Now you leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg going out and then down towards the left heel, move over towards the right and do the same thing, coming down towards the same height. And then from the heel, curl the foot, coming down and then up. Let's round up the top of the foot, we're going to go up and then bend this down towards the heel and then do the exact same thing on the right. Now let's go back up to the hips, we're going to bend the leg, coming out and then in on top of the feet. Let's go back in between the head and the shoulders. We're gonna draw two straight lines coming down the side of the neck. And then along the bottom, I'm just gonna curve this down and then out. Now we're gonna go halfway down the side of the body, bend the arm going out and then down towards the wrist on both sides, coming down towards the same height. And then from the wrist, draw a small half circle for the thumb. 
and we'll close off the end with a bracket. Let's wrap three fingers around on either side. Start from the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna come down and up around that bracket. Step down for the second finger, going out and up. Now the third finger, we're gonna go all the way around and just pull that towards the inside of the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna go back up to the shoulder, it's gonna bend the arm, go wider going out and then down towards the wrist on top of the hand. Let's add that strap going across the body, starting from the right shoulder, bend this across and then down towards the left hip. Now you wanna add that snail on a stick along the right side. So in behind the arm, draw a circle, going all the way around, come back in, along the top, go up, round this out and then come down. Now I want to add that stick from the shoulder, going across the top and then out. Now that we complete our rough sketch, let's go back and erase these guidelines. Now as we're doing that, I want to quickly introduce the paper that we're using in today's lesson. This 100 page spiral bound sketchbook is made by Strathmore. It's got a smooth fine tooth surface perfect for your illustrations. Each sheet is 11 by 14 inches with a tight perforated edge that makes it easy to pull out. To find out more about the sketchbook, I'll leave the link in the description below. And now let's jump back into our lesson. And now we're gonna use this rough sketch as a guide to help us add some more detail and refine the shapes. Let's start with the eyes. Start from the outside. I'm gonna curl this up toward the top. And then bring that down on the inside. You wanna add a little bit of a point along the outside of the eyes. Work our way across the bottom. And then on the inside, we're just gonna bend this down towards the nose. Add a fold underneath the eye. And work our way across the nose. Let's add the nostrils with a small half circle on either side. And just darken up the inside. And then from the side of the nose, just going to enhance that fold going around the inside of the eye and then bending that out towards the top. Now we're just gonna add some texture across the bottom edge of the hat. Starting from the side of the head, just pulling these lines going out. And I just wanna extend these out across the back of the head, sort of aiming towards the center of the forehead. Go to the center, going up. Now I'm just gonna work our way over towards the right. Again, just bending these out, aiming towards the center of the forehead. I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side. on the top left side of each eye and draw a small circle for highlight. Let's add a slight curve going across for the glare. And now we're gonna darken up the top of the eye going around that highlight. Coming down to the edge of that glare. And 
and then from here it's going to gradually fade this down towards the bottom. Do the same thing on the right. Darken up the bottom and then fade that up. Now I'm just going to work all the way down the side of the neck towards the shoulders. You can see that I'm using some thick and thin lines. I'm just placing the thicker lines around the shadow areas. So I want to go heavier along the bottom just to give it some weight. I'm just tapering that up and working our way across the hips. I'm just going to loosely add in that strap. Just hold the chest in between, bending this down in the center of the body. I'm just going to add some more detail to that snail. Start with the edge of the shell. Add that fold, and work our way around, and then the bottom, I'm just going to take that up, go in behind the stick. Go back and just finish off the hands. Again, just tracing out these contours. And we can reshape the hands and the shape if we need to. I want to go back and just clean up our drawing one final time before we add in our shading. Now in this last step, I'm going to use the side edge of my pencil to add our shadows. Now along the bottom side of the hat, I'm going to go a little bit darker along the back and then fade that up towards the front. Now the location of our light source is going to determine the position of our shadows. So imagine that the light's coming from the top left side of our page going across so the shadows will sit on the opposite side. I'm just going to bring that shadow coming down along the top of the head.
and with the hat, we're just gonna pull the shadow over toward the right side. Going up towards the top and just fading that out towards the left. Add a little bit of shadow on the left side. And then go back and just add a little bit of texture on top of our shadows and our drawing. And once we're finished adding in all that detail, we'll be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's our cartoon illustration of Smurf Cat. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want more details on our art supplies I used, I'll leave a list with links in the description below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.